So in this video we're going to be talking about square numbers and square roots. And with that we're going to introduce the notation that goes alongside it. Okay? So, first of all, let's start off with just a basic example so we can just get used to the notation. And I'm going to choose 3 squared. So, we write this 2 up here as a superscript, uh, so it's to the right of the 3, it's above it, uh, and that represents 3 times 3. So essentially what this number is doing is it's telling you how many times to multiply the number by itself. So another example would be something like 5 cubed. Now, obviously, this isn't a squared, OK? So this is beyond the video that we're looking at at the moment. But just to make sure you're aware of the notation, 5 cubed would mean 5 times 5 times 5, OK? So you're multiplying 5 by itself three times. So you need to know your square numbers. Uh, ideally, from 1 up to 15, okay, in preparation for the non-calculator paper, the non-calculator element of GCSE Maths. So, let's run through them. Uh, so, 1 squared, start off with, is 1 times 1, and so that is just 1. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49. 8 squared is 8 times 8, which is 64. We have 9 squared, so 9 times 9, which is 81. 10 squared is 10 times 10, so 100. Now, from here on, this is where some people start to get a little bit more foggy as to remembering them. So 11 squared is 11 times 11, which is 121. <coughs> We have 12 squared, which is 12 times 12, so 144. 13 squared is 13 times 13, which is 169. 14 squared is 14 times 14, which is 196. And 15 squared, 15 times 15, which is 225. So you need to make sure you know your square numbers. Some of these you're probably going to be able to work out. So if you know um, how to do your long multiplication and you needed what 14 squared was and you needed to do it by hand, then you could always do 14 times 14 as we've gone through already in this playlist and just do it longhand. So 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 1 is 5. Then we go into the next row, so we bring in a 0, 1 times 4, 1 times 1. And then add those two results together, so 6 plus 0, 5 plus 4, and the 1, so 196. So if your multiplication between numbers and longhand is good, and you know your um, multiplications from 1 up to 9, then you should be fine to work out the rest if you need to, if you forget them. However, it's a very good thing to practice to make sure that you can do. Uh, revision cards will be very good for this. So you just have 12 squared on one side and 144 on the other side. And you can take that uh, wherever you go and just practice uh, at, any, um, at any opportunity you want to. So that's square numbers okay so each of these numbers that we've got here on the right hand side we refer to as a square number okay uh, because it is um, it has a uh, whole number square root okay so square roots then 
Now, square roots are essentially going the other way. Now, the notation for this would be the square root of 64. Now, this is the square root symbol. Looks very much like a division symbol. Um, when we've been doing uh, short multiplication or long multiplication, depending on which one you've learnt. Uh, but it has this little tail on the end. And what this means is what number multiplied by itself makes 64? And that number is 8. Now, you might um, be thinking, ah, now wait a minute, shouldn't this be plus or minus 8? Well, no, that, that isn't right. Um, the reason for that is because when we write down the square root of 4, because we don't have any sign attached to the left-hand side, there's no plus or minus here, it's taken to be positive. So when you write down the square root of 4, this can only be one thing. It is the positive square root of 4, which would be 2. OK? Not negative 2. The reason why negative 2 comes up is because, as we will see um, in a few videos' time, we'll be looking at an equations like x squared equals 4. That is an equation with two solutions, and the two solutions are 2 and minus 2. OK? So this has two solutions, but the square root of 4 is just 2. So just be a little bit careful there. So what we need to be able to do is recognise um, the square number and its square root. So if I said, what is the square root of 121, you need to be able to write down that that is 11. OK? So um, we're going to have a little bit of a test on this in the next video. So you can... Uh, try practicing them first, try memorising them, then have a go at the test and see uh, uh, how well you did or how well you remember them.